Moving on to the question number eight, it is recognize and apply the properties of rectangles. Uh, now we are dealing with rectangles. The question seven was on parallelograms. Now what's the difference between these two? Here, let's look at this rectangle. Each side is 90 degree. Let me just change the color. Each sides, you know, each, sorry, vertex over here, not side, what I was saying. Uh, each vertex is basically a right angle. Okay, now this and then this one. Now this is very important. Now if each sides are right angles, then what about the diagonal? When we draw a diagonal, we can use Pythagoras theorem over here. But that's not so important. Another thing is opposite sides are equal. Even in parallelogram, it was the same thing. And rectangle E is a parallelogram, but it's a special parallelogram. I mean, it's a different type of, uh, it's a special case in a parallelogram. So opposite sides are equal and parallel to each other. Same thing over here. Now, what about the uh, diagonals? This, diagonals. The diagonals are congruent to each other. This is very important. They're congruent to each other. Okay. Now, what do we know over here? They have told AB is 6. Okay. AD is 2. Very good. And what do what else? D A E. So D A and E. See, this is D A and E. This one. Okay, this part. This angle. We know D A B would be 90. That's obvious, but this part is 65. So we need to find the given measurements. Now, what is B C? This opposite side is 2 itself. This one is 2. Now B C over here would be 6. Now we need to find the diagonals, isn't it? What about the diagonals? Over here, DB is a diagonal and AC is a diagonal. Let's just put it like this. And now how do we find this? You can use just Pythagoras theorem. It will be, the easy thing would be 6 squared plus 2 squared. What does Pythagoras theorem say? The hypotenuse, the longest side, which over here is DB, the whole square will be equal to the square of the other two sides of the triangle, that is BC and DC. So DC squared plus BC squared. Here DB is unknown, but I don't want this, so I'll square root, okay? So DB would be equal to square root, that square and square root cancel. So over here it will be DC is what? 6 squared plus 2 squared. That's how we get this. 6 squared plus 2 squared will be 36 plus 4. It is 40 root. Root 40 is the answer. So the diagonal is root 40. It's just over 6, you know, 6.4 or something. I'll just write it as root 40 diagonals. And then what else is required? All the angles are uh, 90. So that's it, I guess. Now, BC is how much? 2 feet. DB, it's by Pythagoras theorem. We know it's 6.3. Okay, that's root 40. Then what else? Angle CEB. CEB. Okay. What would be the angle of these diagonals over here? How can you exactly solve? There are different methods to solve, but the easy one would be here. Uh, you know this part, sorry. This part and this part would be equal. Why? Because the diagonals are equal and now they intersect at the center. Here this part and this part is equal. This is basically an isosceles triangle here. So if this angle is 65, what about this angle? It's also 65. Okay. Now what is this remaining angle? So we know total angle is 180 minus 65 and 65 is 130. So angle must be 50. This angle is 50 degrees. We know opposite angle will also be 50. Why? Because they are vertically opposite. If this is 50, then what about this angle? That will be 180 minus 50. That is 130. So these are all the angles. So M C E B C E B. This angle is 50 degrees. C B is 50 because they want C E and B. This one. Okay, that is 50. And what about E? E is over here, D and C, E, D, C. Now here, this whole angle, angle D is 90 degrees. We know this part is 65. What is the remaining part? 25 degrees. 90 minus 65 is 25. 
that's it so this is how we find we we can easily find with the given thing just be careful and understand how it is just be careful with this part it's an isosceles triangle so the bases are always equal this will this will vary and over here as well now this is how much this is 65 so same thing will repeat over here uh, sorry this is 25 over here this will be 25 and so on so that's how we can solve this now even over here it's the same thing similar concept we'll quickly do this dh is given as 44.5 what is ef where is ef okay ef is over here i'll just remove this that's ef so 39 is over here okay what next ghf g h and f that is over here 128 degrees that's it that's all the things that's given to us now from ef we can easily find this one is also 39 and dh is given d okay from dh what else we can find is the diagonals dh and this hf will be 44.5 add them up it'll be 88 plus 189 the total length of the diagonal since diagonals are congruent i'll write over here they're 89 now if this is 89 and i know this is how much dg is 39 we can easily find this from pythagoras theorem so what happens is i'll write ge that is the hypotenuse is equal to dg plus de you need to square them all now ge is 89 square that is equal to dg is 39 square plus d square is unknown let me take this to the other side it'll be 89 square minus 39 square and square root on them that is de so okay d is not asked but i'm just doing it okay uh in fact this is not at all asked. i'm just trying to find all the uh values of the you know rectangle so we need a calculator here let's uh let's you can go over here and we will try square root 89 square minus 39 square what's the answer it's 80 so this part above part is 80 this is 39 this is 80 it's just writing it out over there so if this is 80 this is also 80 now let's see what is required they need dg what is dg it's 39 very simple it's already found out 39 what is ge g is this one it's 89 so 89 is it's it but if they are asked the d you can always use the pythagoras theorem and solve it that's i've done it over here and over here they have asked the angles e h f where is e e is over here h is in the middle f now this is 128 what's the remaining angle well 180 minus 128 well that it'll be 52 over here 52 degrees and what is hef h is h e f this one now how would we solve this particular one let's just see what is given we have just 128 and 52 but now you know that this is an isosceles triangle right this one these two so if i consider this to be x this will also be x so we can find it out now 180 will be equal to 1 sorry it's only 52 52 plus x and x will be 2x so solve for x take this 52 to the other side it'll be 130 128 uh, equals 2x divide this by 2 it'll be 64 equals x so this is the answer it should be 64 degrees let's just check yes that's the answer and this was 52 we found out first one so this is how easily we can solve uh, rectangle problems even over here you can just apply now okay what they have done they have given you basically x values in terms of x so it's fine you have to just find the value of x now let's see what is given a d b a d b this one this angle is 4x plus 8 what next d b a d b a is 6x plus 12 and we need to find the value of uh, x so how exactly we can solve we know this plus this plus this will be total 90 it's a triangle uh, triangle right so let's use that concept so this angle is unknown let me just write it out over here sorry this is no 90 
these are in terms of x unknown x is unknown let's write them all 90 plus 4x plus 8 plus 6x plus 12 equals 180 degrees now you can simplify this directly put this in calculator you'll get the x value as well or you can just take it uh, solve it so 4 plus 6 is 10x equals 180 minus uh, let me just 20 100 and minus 110 now 10x is equal to 70x equals 7 so this would be answer let's just see the answer yes x is 7 that's it very simple whatever is given substitute and then find the unknown here also the concept is same now pause the video try it by yourself you need to solve it by yourself because it's very straightforward problems and then you can see the steps so here you can see mfeg is uh that is sorry feg measure of angle feg um you know just zoning out i guess um f e g is 57 degrees over here what do you want to know g e h so obviously it's 90 minus that 57 that's it because this total is 90 we know this is how much 57 so this one will be 90 minus 57 same thing here you can easily solve it this is 13 given over here h g e is 13 this one how do you find f g f g e so it is again 90 minus 13 you'll get the answer same things over here with the height please make sure you easily solve it oh f k is given f k but they are they are wanting e g the total length f k is half of the diagonal right so times 2 32 times 2 is 64 now here they're asking you to find the measure of h e f and e f g this is 90 degree 90 degrees so 290 degrees you just sum them up they have, they have given this angle plus this angle is how much 90 plus 90 it's 180 degree that's it again ef is given to be 4x minus 6 we have done similar problems you can try this by yourselves now this is given ef is given hg is given solve for e and f in, in the sense you need to find the measure now what what happens over here is ef is 4x minus 6 hg is x plus 3 they both are equal isn't it 4x minus 6 let me just take it out over here it's minus 6 that is equal to x plus 3 now solve it this goes to the other side 4x minus x equals 6 plus 3 3x equals 9 x is equal to 3 this is the answer uh, x is equal sorry x is equal to 3 is the answer so this is how we can easily solve these problems that's the end of this topic uh, very easy topic rectangles are much easier because you know opposite sides are equal the uh, opposite sides are parallel the diagonals are equal and the opposite angles all, all the angles are 90 so it's very easy to solve write what is given and then easily solve it up please do try practicing more problems and i will see you in the next video bye bye for now